Hi, this is Jukebox818, um, or Meg, or uh, the PG-14 News Consultant. Uh, I did a video on cover flows, and now I'm just answering comments and questions. Um, a subscriber asked me to make a video on how to sing songs, and I'm going to do that today. I did a video like this, poor, very poor quality, because I did it right off the um, webcam. And I'm sorry about the 200 or so views I've got, but they're going to go bye-bye, because this is going to be the good one. Alright, so, uh, let me try get right into what you need. You're gonna need your iPod, uh, and your syncing cable, and a computer. That's basically it. Okay. So, I've turned the monitor towards you guys so you guys can see. Um, and I'm hoping this will help a little bit, because the last video you really couldn't see. So, uh, first things first, you gotta download that iTunes. So, you've opened your iPod, you gotta open the iTunes iTunes does not come with the iPod for some reason, but you can download it online. Now, if you've got iTunes already, what you're going to want to do is you're going to frequently update it so you can stay on top of things. Now, if you don't have it, go to Apple.com, uh, click on the Downloads tab, and download the 7.6 version, which right now is the newest version. If you're watching this two months from now, 7.7, 7.8 will probably be out. Um, this is always free. So you're going to download that and you're going to open it up and if this is the first time you're using iTunes or even hooking your iPod up uh... this part goes into the iPod in the bottom so just push that in there until it snaps um... and now it's going to charge your iPod as you probably know so it's going to ask you, it's going to say do you want to import all your tracks or all media on this computer now, if you've had a MP3 player, this is not mine, uh, if you've had an MP3 player and you've used Windows Media, all those tracks, bad news, are going to be in WMA. And sorry guys, WMA is not supported by iPod. Um, the only thing that is supported, I believe, is ACC, or A, yeah, I think it's ACC, and um, unfortunately MP3. But it's going to say you want to import, you can hit yes, and it's going to say do you want to convert all tracks, and you can say yes. And the thing about that is, it's going to take a very long time for you to actually convert all the songs on your um, computer if you have a lot. Granted, over time, it'll be worth it because you'll be able to listen to them all on your iPod. Now, if you're like me and you wanted to just test it, you can click no. Um, and I'm going to show you how to drag and drop and then how to import using um, file, using the file tab up here. Okay, um, first things first, drag and drop. Everybody seems to have problems with this. I'm not sure why, but I'm going to help you guys. So, if, uh, if you've done the WMA, Windows Media Audio, you're going to go and you're going to go to Start uh, My Music. Now, if it's not in, uh, on your, you know, general uh, start screen, go to My Documents, and it should say uh, right here, other places, my music. So you can click on there and it'll bring up all your music. So let's show you the drag and drop. First things first, you're going to have to maximize your iTunes window. Next, click on the folder and uh, shrink your folder a little bit. Uh, okay. So now I'm going to maximize this so you can see this. Now notice how there is a whole row of this and a whole row of this. Big difference here. These are all WMA or real real audio, which um, iPod does not support. And these are all uh, MP3s, which iTunes does support. So I'm going to show you how to take uh, WMA and it says right there. What is the audio track? Drag and drop it and convert it right into iTunes. All right, so I've Minimize my uh, thing. I got my library music, um, movies, TV shows, podcasts, radio store um, tab up here in this corner right here. I'm going to highlight this. Now this is going to become a ghostly like figure. And what you're going to do is you see how there's that little plus sign right there? You're going to wait until that comes up and there's a giant blue shade around the library tab. So next you're just going to drop that in. It's going to say one or more of the songs, um, including Don't Wait, which is by Dashboard, um, is in WMA. We do not support that. Do you want to convert it? Yeah, go ahead. 
Now, uh, I did the video, like I just said, about the cover flow. So make sure you uh, log on to that and get the cover flow for the covers. Uh, again, you just go to File, Get Info, or Control I. Go to the Artwork tab and select an image from your desktop. That's the quick rundown of it. Now it's going to convert this. Uh, I'll come back when it's done converting. So it's giving me the ding dong. Um, so I typed in the keyword of the song. And um, so here we go. Uh, there's the song right there. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. One of these should be. Oh, it's down here. And as you can see, there's no album artwork. Um, and I just told you again, you're going to. Control I or file get info and that will allow you to get the album artwork or you can watch the video which I'll drop down here um, when I'm done. So, you know, that's pretty much it for syncing or for getting the songs actually on there. But if for some reason you're having problems dragging and dropping, you can go to file, add file to um, library or control O, select a file and open that up and it'll convert, it'll do the same thing pretty much. Except the dragging and dropping is quicker. If you're doing a whole folder, again, same thing. Uh, browse that uh, file, add folder to library. There you go, that's it. You're going to hook in your iPods. Uh, now, most iPods do take you right in iTunes and want to sync as soon as you get in there. Uh, but if for some reason it doesn't, uh, well, actually, well, I'm pretty sure all of them do, but, okay, so you're going to click on your summary, it will, it'll automatically pop up the summary tab, and it's going to tell you what's on there, and you can also view that um, on, on the main menu, if you had settings, about, um, it's the exact same thing as that, um, that's not real important, but, Okay, so then let's. If you've only had one song on there, just hit sync all music. If you want certain songs, uh, you can picky. You can be picky choosy on that. I would recommend making sure that the album artwork is checked because if you don't, then you're gonna have all those horrible music notes. It's up to you though. I like cover flow. If you don't use cover flow, it's pretty pointless. So you're gonna hit sync, and that's down the corner right there. And your iPod will say syncing, or connected, and then syncing. Up at the top to syncing, do not disconnect, and there you go. Um, and once it's done syncing, I will show you where it is actually on my iPod. Alright, so I got the OK to disconnect. So all I have to do is jiggle the cord out. And again, if you're new to this, on the sides, there's these tabs, right? You don't just yank the cord out. There's the little tabs on the side right here. I know they're pretty hard to see because of the camera. Um, all you do is you pinch the sides and wiggle out, and there you go, it's done. And, um, okay. So I have to wait for it. Um, when it says okay to disconnect, you can disconnect. There's also the eject button down in the corner right there. Um, okay, so I'm going to go to music, cover flow, cover flow option. That's another song up on there. And there it is right there. Um, Hard to see though, but there it is right there. Um, music notes there. Because again, it won't work until um, you add the cover. Which is again, I did a video. Uh, watch it. It's, if you log on to my profile, you can type in Jukebox818. My profile will come up. Uh, there's the video right there. And it just shows you how to add covers. And this should be pretty interesting to people who don't know how um, to do that. All right. So if you guys have any questions, um, if you need help, I'm here. Just you know, comment me or message me or something, and I will be glad to um, help you guys out. All right. This has been Meg of the PG-14 News, Jukebox A18, uh, etc. Reporting out, and stay tuned for another video I have, which is going to be downloading um, things off of iTunes. Uh, I'm not sure who requested that, but it's one of my subscribers. Most of my subscribers tell me what I should be doing. Uh, I appreciate it to all those people who subscribed. And if you do enjoy my videos, which I do have quite a few of them, um, 
please subscribe to them, and I believe that function's over here in the corner. But I will attach the color flow down here. Alright, thanks for watching, um, if you may.